Hi there everyone, Phil from statisticsmentor.com. Now continuing on with the series on functional form, we're looking at the lin log model. Lin log model is one where your dependent variable is in its raw units, in the original units, and the x's, the explanatory variable, is logged. Let's press enter. Okay, here's the output. Interpretation then of the coefficient of a lin log model goes like this. For a 1% increase in tenure, earnings will increase by 0 0.014 um, whatever the units are of earnings. So let's say earnings Let's just earn it, say earnings is in dollars, just to make it really easy, just say it's in dollars. So that's in, so we would say this again. A 1% increase in tenure leads to an increase in earnings by 0 0.01 dollar. Now, how did I get that figure? Well, how you get the figure is you divide the coefficient by 100. So when it's of the lin log form, the interpretation of the coefficient goes along the lines of if x increases by 1%, the y will increase or decrease, depending on the coefficient, by this figure divided by 100 units. Okay. For practice, let's do a multiple regression model. Let's add years of schooling. What's interpretation now? Let's do schooling. Since this is logged and that is not that's in the original units, we would say if years of school, schooling goes up by a percent, the predicted earnings will increase by divide by hundred point three dollars a year, say, if this is measured in dollars a year. Holding tenure fixed because this is a multiple linear regression model. To say it very quickly then, for one percent increase in years of schooling the model predicts that earnings will increase by 0.3 dollars per year holding tenure fixed. Okay now here I've obviously made up the units for earnings that could be reasonable to be more higher than just dollars could be hundreds or thousands of or hundreds of tens of dollars a year more likely. Okay so that is the interpretation of the coefficients of a lin log model. Hope that's been useful.